Oh, I wanted to make a video about the uh, email that I've gotten from uh, Wizair. Uh, Wizair, of course, is a uh, very famous company, uh, airline, when it comes to uh, flying, especially in Europe and even in Abu Dhabi, in the Emirates. Uh, there are a lot of uh, good things actually with this pass, but I'm going to go through the negative stuff as well because, yeah, that's I try to travel. I travel a lot. I try to find out the good offers, etc. Uh, actually, this is really revolutionary because not so many companies, not so many airlines do have that kind of uh, offers, like all you can fly all the time. But be careful. This is not like just unlimited, or as they claim here, ready for unlimited new adventures. First of all, there's a thing that I really hate with Wizz Air. Uh, every time you try to... Uh, to book then they just reopen the hotels page and it's spamming a lot and I really hate that and you have to close it all the time all the time all the time all the time um, otherwise uh, yeah their flying is pretty cheap uh, you save a lot actually uh, it's a game changer actually with the Wizz Air Pass like uh, uh, just flying uh, many things um, so the problem here is that they ask you to book uh, three days before departure as you can see, and uh, additional to the one-time membership, you always pay a 9.99 euro booking fee each time you travel, which is kind of weird actually, because most of their flights uh, are if you book like, let's say three weeks ahead or something like that, depending on the route, of course, I've even booked like two or three weeks with just 25 euros both ways. Uh, so it's kind of weird because you have to uh, You actually don't have to pay a lot actually for their flights. So some of their flights actually do cost 9.99 So it would be a kind of loss if you uh, do that and then you have to do the math. So if you uh, Let's say there is a calculator here. Let's try to calculate it 499 divided by 12. That's 12 months and then it means you would pay about 41 euros for each month uh, let's divide it by uh, uh, let's say let's say uh, l l let's say a trip per month so that comes up to uh, 41 euros both ways uh, which is pretty good but add to that 12 times 9.99 except the one time they don't let you pay for that so that's like it comes up to 500 euros anyways so if your flights are more expensive than 50 euros, then of course go ahead and, and, and make this, uh, uh, yeah, uh, buy this, definitely. Uh, there is of course, uh, uh, yeah, uh, they have a lot of destinations, but there is a big problem because they have limited availability, as we said, but even additional costs, as we said. The other problem is that it's not, uh, it's not refundable. And then there are actually a few terms you have to, to think of. Um, uh, so uh, a big problem is that they have an automatic renewal, as I understood, when it comes to the monthly uh, monthly fee. And then, uh, sorry for moving the camera a lot, but I just don't want to focus on the other windows. And the additional cost, non-refundable, etc., etc. But there is another thing that I was looking at when it comes to the conditions. Uh, this is the website. This is the offer. Um, these are the conditions, and I've read a lot of conditions, but some of them were really interesting. Uh, there are restrictions and limitations, as you can see. Uh, you cannot book a flight that will be uh, operating during these dates. So forget these dates, you have to pay. And forget even, uh, as we said, if you want to book something urgent, like three days ahead only. And forget even uh, some airports, because they have a definition for some eligible airports and not eligible airports. So be really careful. Uh, adding to that, there is a big problem of uh, contacting them, actually. You cannot really contact with Air. It's really hard to do it. I think, I don't remember now, I didn't contact them for a long while and I haven't flown with them for a long time but I think the big problem is that it's really hard to contact them by phone and if you want to contact them there would be a long queue and there would be a uh, bigger fee to pay 
Now, I had a big problem with Wizz Air actually when I flew back in, I think it was 2016 or something like that. I flew to Bosnia and I got stuck there and they weren't offering any uh, customer service, any offices, anything. I had to pay a lot of money on my own uh, and they said that the problem is not theirs. Uh, if you need more information on that, I would definitely try to provide it, but I don't think it's interesting for anybody, for everybody. So as I said, they have a lot of dates that you cannot fly, as you can see. And these are quite many, actually, for the United Arab Emirates, for example. Quite many for Romania as well. Quite a few ones for Cyprus and Hungary, etc., etc. Um, so, yeah, uh, be careful, read the conditions. Uh, there is also auto renewal, as I said, and I hope I haven't forgotten something. But I just tried to read real quickly. I guess there would be, there could be a condition where it says that uh, the re, the, the, this is not subject to refunds. You know that you cannot have, uh, not refund, sorry, uh, like expense claim, etc., and cancellation and uh, these kind of problems. So I guess there would be uh, somewhere. Now I haven't read it, all of it, and analyze it, uh, but I just tried to make this video as quick as possible so you can have some information because before booking. Um, again, as I said, if you live somewhere not far from the uh, destination you want to fly to and you fly at least twice a month, then I think it's definitely a good idea, definitely. But less than that doesn't seem like a good idea. Good luck and happy flying and for more info and ideas and stuff like that, uh, let me know if you want more videos. I'll try to break it down into more things and prepare a little bit more. Good luck.